I want to show you uh, what we just picked up. It's going to be the latest project. We're going to do a Fiero series. We found it on the interweb and we negotiated a little bit with the guy and we went ahead and picked it up. It's actually a V8 swap Camaro or uh, Fiero. I'm sorry. The motor supposedly is rebuilt, but we could not hear it run because it's not getting power. They stole the fuel pump off it. So we haven't heard it run, but I'm confident we can get it running. The guys sounded like they were honest as could be. You know how that goes though. So we're gonna see on that. Tier is not too bad. It's got some racing seats in it. Got some harnesses, some gauges. We'll go over that stuff earlier. I'll just give you a quick walk around, let you take it in a little bit. The hood's black. The spoiler on the trunk, I'm not thrilled about. I think we're gonna probably get rid of that. It's got some chrome rims. The tires are in okay shape. Got a busted tail light back here. Not a real big deal. And that bar, I don't know. I guess that guy put that bar on there because he thought it needed a flywheel and he'd rock it back and forth to get the starter in a different position to get the car started sometimes. Turns out the starter was loose. Anyway, this is what it is. We're gonna get it off the trailer. We're gonna get it, get it inside on the hoist. It's got a lot of wiring issues. We're gonna have to work out. And uh, we'll be making a video on that, making a video on getting this thing fired up and maybe taking it to the racetrack. Okay guys, you're back. We are back, we're back with the Fiero build. I don't know if I told last time, but this Fiero needs a fuel pump. The people I got it from took the fuel pump off for something else. So I picked up a universal fuel pump, Elderbrock at O'Reilly's. Thank you very much, O'Reilly's. So we're gonna slap this on there. We're gonna see if this thing will run. Stay tuned, it should be easy enough to do. Get this thing opened up. Got directions here. Don't think we'll need them. We'll just take a quick look. Fuel line from tank, fuel line to engine. Pretty simple stuff. Gives us all the basics. Positive, negative, and you know. What comes in the kit, you might ask? Fuel pump. Um, I believe this would be a filter. Already has one fitting in it. The other fitting is gonna screw into here. And that's gonna go to the fuel pump side. Or that's gonna go to the fuel tank side, I'm sorry. We should just be able to tighten this up like so. Should probably put some thread tape on this real quick. They already had a mount in here. We're gonna use the same mount. Hopefully, I don't have to drill any holes. Hopefully everything will line up. So they had a mount, it's kind of hard to see. There's a plate right there. We're gonna mount it right there. I'm hoping we can just run our few lines right to it and hopefully it'll be just that simple. That's what we're hoping. Once we get that on, we can get this thing, this thing fired up. So it should be fairly easy. I'm gonna get some Teflon tape on this, get that thing mounted, and we're gonna see if this baby will run. Okay guys, let me show you what I did. I got the fuel pump on. It's right here. We had a little leak for a minute there. We had to tighten that fuel pump, uh, fuel filter up. So we got that all tightened up and uh, She's ready to fire. Fire's right up. Sounds pretty good. Now we just have to uh, do some work on getting it to charge. It's not charging. They told us that the alternator is bad. So we're gonna have to get her up on the hoist and we will see if the alternator is actually bad. Want to rev it up in a second? Whoa, all right, that's good. Just shot a huge flame out the back. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, she's uh, she's running. We got some smoke coming. We're going to shut her down. So uh, we got some valve covers leaking. I don't know if I caught that flame on the camera there, but when we revved her up, it shot a good enough flame. I jumped a little bit there. So I guess we'll catch that on the next one. If it's not on here and you guys didn't see it, you'll see it next time. Yep. Well, it's been a few days since you just saw what you just saw, which was it firing up. And I told you we need to address the one wire alternator, or no, we need to address the fact that it's not charging. Well, rather than chase down a whole bunch of wires that are gonna lead us to nowhere, because I'm not good with wiring, 
I went ahead and picked up a one wire alternator. We're gonna get rid of the old alternator. We're gonna put the one wire alternator on there. It's a whole lot less headache. And it was, they're 99 bucks, Advanced Auto. You run one wire to your battery and you're charging. And that's, it's just that simple. It literally is that simple. What's it come with? It comes with the test paper, shows you that it's good. We believe them. And you got your alternator. Comes with a before you start paper. Turn the key off, all your, you know, don't be an idiot stuff. And this is it, nothing to it. The back, one wire goes there, runs to your battery, put it back, you know, you put it on your belt and put it where it was basically. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so far. They had this wire, this big wire going to this, which goes to the front of the car to the battery. We move this to the starter. This is gonna become our one wire alternator wire, which is gonna go also to the starter and then run straight to the battery. I'm gonna start getting this alternator off. As you can see, it is buried up in here. So it's not gonna be fun, but I think it can be done. All right, so first things first, I'm guessing that's gonna be about a 13. It is. One bolt down, just like that. Now I'm gonna have to unhook the wiring for the alternator, which is not a 13. And I'm losing bolts. <laughs> we need a, oh, that's a 14. We need a half, no, smaller than a 13, 12 for the wire that's on it. And I can't even see the other bolt, but let me get the wire off first. There's another bolt up higher on this alternator. Oh, no, we need a 10 probably. Here's this one back. Helps if I find the right size. I'm just shouting numbers out. Gabe's handing them to me. 10 it is. We found the winner. And this belt hopefully will. Oh, there's water coming out of the alternator. Some, some water coming out of somewhere. There it goes. If we leave everything just like that, we might be able to just slide the other one right up in there. This thing is full of water. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> so it had some water coming out, but we did get it out, which is a plus. So we're gonna slide that other one back up in there and we'll bring you guys back for the good stuff. Okay guys, I wanted to show you that we got the alternator on. It is charging. You can rev it up a little. Seems to be charging good. You saw it jump right up to 13 volts. A couple other things we did. I was gonna show you that we put some new manifold gaskets on it. It had a really bad exhaust leak, so we bought, uh, we bought these manifold gaskets. And we put a, I had to put one on the back side, way back there. I didn't, I didn't video, it was really tough to do. But I'll tell you, we got this thing really close. We have a sending unit here. We did hook a gauge up to it out here and tested it. It does work. We are gonna run that. Uh, we're gonna run that up and we're gonna try and hook that up to the factory fuel gauge. So we have a fuel gauge, which will be nice. None of our gauges are working as far as temp, oil, or volts. So we're gonna hook those up in the next video a little while since I last filmed on this Fiero. I don't remember where we left off. I think the last thing I did was put that alternator on. Now we want to take it down the road. I wanted to end the video with us at least driving it. squirrely man this thing's kind of all over the road it's almost like driving a little go-kart or something but otherwise it seems to be running pretty good so far well if you've watched this far we appreciate you watching 
If you like this stuff, hit that subscribe button. We're going to do a few more things this Fiero. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get it to the drag strip. Not this year because it's already closed, but we will next year. And that's going to conclude this video. We appreciate each and every one of you.